I want to see the um, the statistics of 80% of people that grow out of it because, yeah, in, in 2016, 2017, there was a lot of trans trenders, okay, that were doing it for attention. Not even going to deny that, 100%. There is a small group of people that will... It's like the it's like the drunk white girls at the party that act lesbian, like, oh my god, I'm so gay. Yeah, there is people like that, 100%. Like, no, no negating you on that. But what I don't personally understand is that I'm about to be 29 years old, right? Um, I grew up watching, you know, heteronormative, whatever, um, straight people on all my media, right? I didn't have any idea what being trans or lesbian or gay was. None, none of that. It wasn't, it wasn't taught. It wasn't talked about. It was taboo, you know? So how come I have vivid memories of being five years old and not understanding why I couldn't play on the boys team or like I would have crushes on girls and stuff and like I would come home and people like, oh, you know, do you have any little boyfriends or anything? I'm like, no, like I'm pan now, but whatever. Um, I had no concept. I had no, I had no one in my life. I had no media. So how did I become the way I did then? And when people are talking about, like, you know, let trans kids live, it's it's literally the same as saying let straight kids live, let gay kids live. Like, let them figure themselves out. Don't, don't make it how it is now or people need to be put on lists or ostracized or called predators just for having a sexual preference. Um, and I'm not talking about pedos. But, like, for me, for example, I mainly like women, right? Um... I don't understand the argument when people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't be around children. Okay, so as a straight man that likes women, should you not be around little girls? Or as a straight woman that likes men, should you not be around little boys? What is what is the factor that just because you're gay or trans then makes you a predator? That's what I'm that's exactly what I'm talking about. And someone that, you know, would go through that, say, say someone took hormones, right? Say someone got top surgery and say they did it for attention. If they feel better about themselves and they truly don't have dysphoria, but it still makes them comfortable in whatever way and it makes life easier, um, I don't see the fucking problem with that. You know, like, that's the thing. I feel like both sides of the media, I don't know if you're more, I'm assuming you're more right, right, right wing. Um, do you listen to Ben Shapiro and Fox News? Because it's, it's, it's been proven they're not 100% honest. I still listen to them just to kind of see what's up. I used to listen to Ben Shapiro all the time. Um, but then I realized how factually incorrect he was because I was just consuming one piece of media and I wasn't looking at the bigger picture. If a woman wants to get a boob job or fill their lips or a man wants to get hair plug surgery and it makes them feel better, you know, yeah, a little bit different lengths, kind of. Um, but if you want to get top surgery and go on hormones to make yourself feel better and you're a consenting adult, do it.